Um, as, as some of you may know, I am formerly a Calenteer. And if there is one thing that Calenteer are known for in a bar circle, it is... Yes! Doom yes! and gloom! Um, and I've heard this, that somewhere. In this, in this vein, I'm not actually going to sing that song, um, but in, 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 in this vein, um, I'd like to actually do a, a bit of a period piece. Cool. Um, it's a poem called Eagle Dolan. It was written by um, the, um, the Pen Kev, the Master Bard and Naren. Um, I translated some stanzas of it and added a little bit at the beginning. So, Hanoi okay. Godolin, Aner and I can't. Hanoi Godolin, Siobhan and Mukini. This is the Godolin, Aneren's master song. This is the Godolin, Siobhan sings it now. Igodolin, heroes of Wales, go forth. Defend your land from Sisling dictum. Men went to Ketrife, they were renowned. Wine and mead in gold cups was their drink. A year in noble ceremonial spent, three men and three score and three hundred, all wearing the golden torques. Of all those who charged, after much reveling, only three won three through courage and strife. The two war dogs of Aaron, Ken in the darkness, and myself, drenched in blood for the sake of my song. Underfoot for a while, my knee is stretched. My hands are bound in an earthen house with an iron chain around my two knees. Yet of the meat of the horn and the men of Katrife, I, a Nerin, will compose, as Taliesin knows, an elaborate song or strain to the Godolin before the dawn of the brightest day. Splendid song! A war band there was. Soldiers surrounding Katrife made war. Bloody motley, trampled, trod on. Warriors, trod on. Vengeance. Meads wages for corpses, though great was the cost. Splendid the song. Bright the war bands that, after fatal impulse, filled Aaron. Their hands satisfied the mouths of brown eagles and prepared feasts for beasts of prey. For Manothog's sake, ruler of men, they set themselves against hostile spears. Before Katraif, keen were the gold torqued men. They thrust, they slaughtered those who stirred form. Early they rose at the dawn. There was a conflict at the Abair in front of the course. The pass and the knoll were in conflagration. Like a boar, they charged the hill. Courteous, grave, savage were the dark spear shafts. Early they rose at mountains. After kindling a fire at the Abair in front of the fence, in the lead, leading, following, before hundreds the first to charge, they were as eager for slaughter as the drinking of wine and mead with fierce and impetuous stroke of the sword. How irresistible was he when he would kill the foe, would that his equal could be found. No, no cowards could bear the hog's roar, uproar. Like a fire that rages, that rages when kindled, on Tuesday they donned the dark armor. On Wednesday they polished enamel armor. On Thursday, terms were agreed on. On Friday was brought carnage all. On Saturday, fearless, uh, they worked as one. On Sunday, crimson blades were their loss, lot. On Monday, waste deep the blood. After defeat, the good old him say, before Munog's tent on his return, they came but one man in a hundred. Munog of the impregnable strand of the old Munog, for him our cheeks are sad. Before the raging flame of Ivan, he turned not aside. He, stands, he stationed men of firmness at the entrance, form a wall in the van. Vigorously, he descended upon the furious foe. He caused devastation and sustained great weight. Of Manobov's warband, there returned but a single blade, bitter, dripping. Men launched their assault, moving as one. Short were their lives, made drunk by pure mead. Manobov's band, renowned in battle, for a feast of mead, they gave their lives. Karadog and Madog. Kush and Ivan, Wiga and Wea, Gwyn and Kinfa, Steel weaponed Peridor, Warther and Ava, a war band steadfast in battle, shield shattered. And though they were being slain, they slew, not one to his own home returned. Men launched the assault. Together they were regaled that year over mead. Great was their design, how sad their tale. The insatiable hero, the longing. Bitter their home, no child to cherish it. 
How long the grief for them and mourning for ardent men of wine-nourished lands. Renowned Manathog's feast was fashioned and its cost, the Battle of Cthrath. Thank you.